Welcome to the show. Time now to catch up on post-match reaction from the Highlanders' win over the Hurricanes and look ahead to the clash with the Blues this weekend. We had a reasonably good chat after the force and uh, realised we missed a lot of opportunities and, and that was mainly down to attitude, so that's been rectified this week and I thought the boys did really well with it tonight. Very clear tactics uh, with the kicking game in the first half. Yeah, we wanted to be able to put the ball in behind and make their big fellas work and then put some pressure on the guys catching the ball in the second pair of hands and I thought, like, again, we, we chased well and we did that quite well, yeah. I think the Highlanders defence won this game. You frustrated them into error. Yeah, I thought um, the boys backed up after a short turnaround, so it was always both teams and it was going to be a case of you know who could stay in their system with the most discipline and, and diligence and yeah I'm, I'm pretty proud of that first half you know we kept them trialless and um, and then we just got a little bit tired in the second half and let them run a couple of times. Uh, anxious last 20 things are starting to get a little bit frazzly. Yeah absolutely like I say there was a few bodies that were a bit slow to get off the line and um, were leaving holes but you know the attitude and, and a bit of the boys ticker actually covered each other and um, we didn't allow too many line breaks so it was good. You're taking what some people would say are big punts, taking off the likes of Aaron Smith, up and they're playing so well, but the guys coming off the bench doing the job. Yeah, that's right. We've, we've got trust in our, uh, our 37 and our squad. Um, so no matter who we pick for which, which game, we trust the people to do that. And, and that's no different to the guys on the bench. So you could see we needed energy, and, and I thought the guys that came on did that really well. Good game from Ben Smith leading from the front, I think, today got involved in so much of that early first half action. You don't say it too often, but I thought he was outstanding tonight. Um, he got a bit grumpy during the week and he fired a couple of bullets and, um, and that also has rectified his play. He got more involved and he was extremely accurate and, and pulled off some pressure moments that were gold for us. And uh, Malachi Fikata, I think we talk about him every week. I think he's paid your contract back already, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. We're really wrapped with him. Uh, he's, he's doing well. Um, his collisions and, and his energy is really inspiring a lot of people around him. So, And he's only a young guy and he's, he's come away from home and family. So. Um, hopefully he's, he's really enjoying the environment here. You seem to be able to mix up your combinations, at least another new, loose forward combination today, work again. Yeah, that's right. They're, like It was a quick turnaround and we knew these guys would be extremely physical in that area. So we needed some fresh athletes and, and Elliot Dixon, he's an athlete through and through, so he did that really well. Joe Wheeler standing out for me. He's a guy that really struggled to break into the team regularly last year, but this, this day, uh, every week he's putting 100%. Yeah, he's a smart athlete, and like you say, he's he's been more consistent with his collisions and his carries and his tackles and his cleans. So he's doing his role okay. Last say two or three minutes in the coach's box, uh, shuffling of the seats. I'd actually say the last ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I stood up the whole time. Uh, yeah, it's we our leadership came through this week. Um, we held on to the ball in that last ten when we should have. Yeah, we, we coughed up one there towards the end, but instead of kicking the ball away, we actually we did really well and held on. So that, that was good leadership. Great platform to now head to Auckland against a team you've already been. Yeah, that's that's pretty distant for us. Um, we'll be starting again and um, we'll, we'll try and turn it around. There's an eight-day turnaround for us, so recovery will be massive focus after the, after that quick turnaround and that collision there. So, yeah, we'll we'll get our work done. But very happy overall. Um, the guys, I think, delivered tonight. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. I think um, they've repaid some of the uh, faith for the, the people turning up tonight, so we're happy with that. You know, you look at that scoreboard and you've got to try and keep playing rugby and keep putting pressure on them. And they weren't kicking the ball back to us, so we had to try and get it off them, so um, that makes it hard. Great defence across the board, I thought, tonight. It really frustrated them. Yeah, it did. And, uh, you know, that's what we've probably got to do in this competition is, is try and rattle teams at times. And I think we, we managed to rattle the Hurricanes at times tonight. I think defence is attitude. It's just getting up there and, and making our tackles and, and being aggressive in that area. I think, you know, if you get the right attitude, then it goes a long way to getting your defence right. Lima's playing really well and, um, you know, he's doing a big job for our team. So it's good to see him with confidence and, and playing the way he is. And yourself, your own game? Um, yeah, I'll have to have a look at the video and see um, you know, what the work-ons are and um, try and get better for next week. So, um, yeah, I'm oh, reasonably happy, but a bit to work on there. Yeah, we've just got to learn from the games that we have played and um, you know, get back on, into training on Monday and look forward to a big game next Saturday against the Blues. They're, they're a dangerous team, they've got a lot of X Factor and you know, they showed against the, the Crusaders and was it the second game, you know, that you can't... Um, you know, take your eye off them because I've got a lot of dangerous players. You're nervous in the last few minutes. Uh, that scoreboard's closing, <laughs> closing in quite quick. 
Um, oh, I had trust in our team that would, um, you know, keep tackling and and do the job and um, keep working for each other. So, you know, that's that's the games that you want to play in where it comes down to the wire and and it's good to be on the right side of it. I suppose it's always a um, bit of a mixture whether to play field position or um, you know to, to not hand in the ball and just keep um, you know keep hammering away and. Um, yeah, I'm just lucky, lucky that we got away with the win. They like to, you know, move the ball, and um, you know they showed how dangerous they were in that last 20 when they started moving that ball. How pleasing it is it to spark a try like that, and you know see it finished off by, by Phil? You know? Yeah, I suppose, um, you know, the the, chase, the Hurricanes chase line wasn't quite there, and um, you know, lucky that um, Nuggy and Bills were on the same wavelength, and we managed to, you know, get across the line and. Um, and then Paddy scoring his try sort of, um, you know, got us out out by a bit. But then the Hurricanes came right back into it. Well, Bowden, just left yourselves too much to do in the latter part of the game. Yeah, but you can't give a good side like the Hollanders 22-point lead. Um, it was a little bit too much for us. Even though we came back well, we let ourselves down in the first half. Too many errors. Their kicking game was outstanding though, and their defence was good too. So uh, they were a very good side. Seemed just a little bit mentally out of sync with each other in that first half. Passes going astray, lack of communication. Yeah, it looked like that, and uh, that's what it was: lack of communication and just not quite direct. Uh, you know, we we like going to set piece and getting our structure off that, and we, I think we survived off one or two lineouts in the first half, which um, is in the game we like to play. Uh, we couldn't build pressure that way, um, but our errors let us down, and um, they're a good side. Did the Highlanders' tactics surprise you with the amount of kicking that first half, those little chips in behind? Yeah, I think it did. Um, we weren't ready for those high balls and um, it's credit to them, they're a smart side and obviously Ben Smith at the back and Aaron Smith are pretty good kickers and, and put them on the money tonight. The Hurricanes though did come out a, a different team I felt in the second half, you seemed more focused? Yeah, more focused, more direct. Uh, we had a lot more ball. Um, we were desperate, so we had to hold on to the bill and, and build phases and get points. So uh, I don't know why we can't flip the switch a little bit earlier. Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. It was always going to be hard to repeat the intensity and success of the previous week, wasn't it, and keep up that standard? Yeah, different sides though. Uh, the cheaters defend like they attack right across the park, so there's um, plenty of opportunities to build phases and, and you get really quick bull at ruck time whereas the Highlanders are a lot more direct, they pile numbers into the ruck so they like to slow your bull down and um, we struggled with that a little bit at the start. Do you feel you could have just snatched that game late? I know it was, uh, time was against you though. Yeah, we keep having that belief Belief, and um, you know we got 14, 12 points back and we just need another try at the end so we ran out of time, it's disappointing. Uh, we left it that late. You took the quick drop uh, conversion on the off chance, you might just get one more chance to the try. Yeah, I thought if I took my time, uh, waited for the tee to come on, we would have run out of, out of time and um, the drop kick was a better option because we still could have scored a try and when the ball was in play. We were hoping to kick on after last week against the Cheetahs, um, small speed bump this week, uh, very disappointing so um, we're on to next week and just looking to flick that attack switch a little bit earlier this time around. I know you'll be disappointed with the match result, but your own personal haul of points and form must be pleasing? Oh, yes and no. I'd much rather be winning in this Canes jersey and, and not playing as good than you know, playing, playing good rugby and losing. So um, it's team first and you know, I'd much rather see this team winning going forward and being in the competition. And just a wee word of TJ Perrineau. I think he stepped up today and had, um, he ran a lot more and it made a big difference. Yeah, he's a great runner of the ball. Um, it's good to have him back. Uh, obviously, Chris Miley played really well last week. It was sad to see him go down during the week with a calf strain. So, uh, you know, the depth we've got um, at the Hurricanes at um, halfback is very good. Billy Gordon on the bench didn't make his debut, but his time will come. And just finally, uh, Crusaders are a hard team to fix things on with, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But, um, you know, any, any team can beat anyone in this competition on their day. So... We've just got to build and, uh, you know, they're, they're not the strongest team at the moment, the Crusaders. Um, so we've just got to look at our own game first and, and look at building on that.